Welcome to another video of my kitty team. This time I'm playing a not elite player. I wanted to show it's a very f uh, fast game, but I still wanted to show this game because of some reasons. One reason is he has a competitive team. And also I wanted to show how the most games turn out most of the time because most of my pl opponents are not elite players. Because of that, most games are pretty fast and, and are over in one or two turns. So I just want to show how minor minor decisions or minor mistakes can can easily make the game a very fast lose. So let's see. We are playing Gultard and Get, and this is our basic setup on this map. Especially if we go first, I will nearly always set up like this. <coughs> I think everybody knows the crossmasters on the other side. Gultat is a level 6 crossmaster. My focus will most of the time be to focus focus Gultat if possible. So in the positioning my first turn, my normal positioning on this map if I'm not in danger would be here with my kitty and here with my diver Brill so he can connect three collect three karmas on the way there. But before I walk over there, I have to think whether it's a safe spot. So let me count the movement points. Get can move one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four across the take over here. And I don't want I don't want to get hit by the cross attack for no reason. So that's why I will do my setup one space further back, so he can't hit both of my cross masters with the cross attack. And with uh, Gultard, Gultard can walk four or up to six spaces sometimes. And I don't want him to reach my kitty first because I think in the, in the Gultard kitty matchup, it's very important to be the one who is dealing damage first because most of the time you need two turns to kill Gultard or he needs two turns to kill my kitty. So if he's starting to hit my kitty rage, he most of the time can, can kill her next turn. So the why I put the shovel over here is because uh, with six movement points now he can still not reach my kitty with his with his Gultard because he has a charge attack with which can charge three spaces. So let's check it out. One, two, three. And then he walks free, then he moves uh, charges to the shovel, for example. And then he can move three, three other spaces. Now he's one space away from me anyway. So the shuffle movement stops him from attacking my kitty rage. <coughs> Without the shuffle, he could have buffed movement and then just walked to my kitty and attacked her with the charge and with the other attack. So here you can see what I mean, like minor, minor mistakes can can close the game out. So he decided to take my shovel and position his Gultard such that I, c I can hit him with, with my Kitty Rage. So I can just move the shovel away and then walk walk over here and attack him. So this is, I don't know, it, it depends how he, he has to play, but it's not a very good start for for this game for him, in my opinion. So I checked the shop here sometimes where there was an aqua boost and the Sakura style. And he also bought a 12 karma reward on the Gultat. So let's see what he has now over here. So the Sakura style can be used on Kitty Rage, such that Kitty Rage has 9 base damage. And this item with plus 2 movement can be used to make my Diver Brill move 2 spaces further and also move 4 spaces over here such that he can also attack Gultas. So this would then be 4 base damage plus um, 9 base damage, that's 10 4, 10 and then 11 with with more lower. So and because I am starting to do damage then I think it's a good idea to to buy both these rewards and put this Acre style, I said it wrong. I probably should put this Acre style on more lower. So I can even use the critical because I can collect two karmas on the way to the shop with my coagulary. 
So now I have 12 commas if I collect over here. So because of that, now there is the decision uh, which item I buy first and I decide to buy this item first. And because I saw the other item which ge gets um, gives one movement, I decided to to change my my buying and buy the <coughs> plus three AP item on Kitty, such that she can attack once more. So this would be the um, nine base damage from Kitty then with armor piercing, and um, my diver barrel can still move four spaces and still reach Gultard. So because I checked what the next item will be. I gained one attack by by Kitty Range and also bought one item which is a which is an item for the whole game. So this is a, a minor gain which I get. And also I didn't have to buy the Cross Style, which is which gives me four which gives me four damage on my Kitty Rage or my Molo. So I just saved saved this one. And now I can still attack Gultard with my two shovel of adjustment attacks. And he takes free damage twice because also he is critical, so it was not very likely, but it was what it was a possibility. Now I need to. Now I was thinking where I move the shovel and what happens next turn. And because Kitty Rage can e uh, can reach Gultas even by walking here, I decided to s move Gultas even further because. Such that Gultat has a harder time to attack uh, Diver Burrell because Diver Burrell is the only one who can be killed next turn because my Kitty Rage will have 14 HP, so that won't be that easy. And also, he has only two movement points now, and if he gets two more movement points, he still cannot reach my Kitty w w without charging in the, uh, the air or something. So. He needs to walk the walk the four spaces, and the shovel will block him from attacking me. So here you can see I just buffed Kitty twice, and then used the boost and dealt the ten remaining damage. So now the game is basically game over because he has only one GG and can cannot really kill any one of my team without Gultard. So now I'm just thinking how I can make this game a safe win, but it's not much I can do here, or not much I can do wrong. And he even, because he figures he cannot really win the game, he just took the double at the end, and then, or he lets himself um, rope, or disconnect it, I don't know, but he wouldn't have won the game anyway. So I wanted to mainly show this game because it's like a more basic game and it's not like most games turn out this way if I play my team. So it's mostly two turns or three turns and the games I normally show are more complex games where I have more decisions because it's a bit more interesting. So I hope you still enjoyed this, this game and if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe in the top right corner. Goodbye.